Good evening, shooters and reloaders out there. Fortune Cookie 45 LC coming to the hot lead zone. And this is a continuation of the video project on the Savage Model 11 VT 308 Winchester project. This is chapter 8 on next sizing the 308 Winchester Hornady brass using the Lee collet neck sizing die. Now the Lee neck sizing collet die is in the ultimate die sets, four die sets for the 308 Winchester and the neck collet die is the one that's all the way to the right. Now I took the Lee lock ring off and put a Hornady lock ring instead on there. Now what this die does is it doesn't do anything to the case body that's already been fire formed to the rifle but what it does is it uses a collet to squeeze the neck onto a mandrel and therefore resize the neck without changing anything else on the case itself. So the case is ready to hold a bullet and by doing it this way you have minimum run out according to Lee. Let's take this die apart. What we have there is the die body then the collet, that's a little forward of it, then the decapping pin and also the rod that the collet squeezes the neck down onto, and the upper portion there is a device that closes the collet and squeezes the case neck onto the mandrel, and then the end cap. Now first we need to inspect the collet Here's the, the inside of the collet right there. This part of the collet needs to be smooth. If it's really rough, the problem with it is the collet may not release properly. So we need to see if we'll have any problems with that. Now to help out the situation, we're going to go ahead and put some Shooter's Choice gun grease on the collet. Now we're going to reassemble the die. Now incidentally, as you're tightening these kind of things and holding it, you got to be careful. These threads are sharp because you can cut yourself. So there's the die in the coax press. And what happens is we screw the die down until it touches the shell plate. Then we give it another turn let's put a case in we want to feel the collet closing and squeezing the neck onto the mandrel like that but we don't want to feel any drag as we release the case because if we do, that drag is going to cause the case to stretch. Now the recommendation is to give it a half a turn and run it through a second time and this will increase the accuracy of the neck sizing. So now we've got a neck size to hold the bullet and the rest of the case hasn't been bothered case has been deprimed. Of course the cases were already deprimed. But here we go. So here we go. We run the case in. We feel the, the collet squeeze. Then we go ahead and give it a half a turn and run it through again. Now let's see what's happened to the case neck. It's been squeezed down to 304. And since our bullets are 308, that's fine. We, we have plenty of neck tension. So there you go. We'll go ahead and do all 20 of these. And you don't need to see all of that on camera, so we'll just run all 20. Now, incidentally, the Hornady brass has already 
within the trim length. In fact, it's only 0.002 above the trim two length so that there's no trimming needed of the Hornady brass. And with the lead neck collet sizing die, we don't have to do any lubing of the cases. So that's a plus. You can see that the cases in the background have lube on them. Those are Remington Peters that we did the bumping back of the shoulder by 0.002. Now the inside neck dimension of the Hornady cases as processed by the Lee neck collet sizing die is 0.304 inches. Well the inside dimensions of the cases that were processed by bumping the shoulder back the Remington Peters cases is also 0.304 inches. So the neck tension on both processes is the same. This concludes chapter 8 on the use of the Lee neck collet sizing die. Now we'll go ahead and trim the cases on the left that are long and then we'll be ready to go ahead and start loading in 